All right, so let's look at how we would separate a mixture. In this particular case, we're going to look at two ways to separate liquid mixtures. Um, remember, this does not mean a solid dissolved in a liquid, but mixtures of two different liquids. So the first way we would look at is we'd use a separating funnel. And this is for immiscible liquids. In other words, liquids that don't mix, oil and water, etc. So you, this here is your separating funnel. Here you have a less dense liquid and a more dense liquid. Now the more dense liquid will sink to the bottom. So you pour them in, you let it sit there, and um, the more dense one will sink to the bottom. The physical property we're using is density. Um, the, so as I said, denser liquid, denser liquid sinks to the bottom, forming layers. Um, the stopcock, which is this part here, is opened, and you simply decant off into a beaker the bottom layer. Um, I want you to think about limitations of this. Um, how good a how good a split you think you're going to get with these two mixtures. Then we have a way to separate miscible liquids. And the most common example of that is distillation. Um, so basically you've got a mixture of liquids here in your round bottom flask and a heat source there. You have a thermometer there with a stopper around it. And this here is a water jacket which makes up part of the condenser. That's the clue to what this actually does. Um, essentially the physical property we're using here is boiling point. Um, liquids are heated until the more volatile, this means lower boiling point, boils. Okay. Um, the gas rises. Okay, so we've got two mixtures in here. The lower boiling point rises up because um, it's more volatile. And the water as it so as it rises up, up this way, it's got nowhere to go, so it's forced down here because it's expanding. Um, the water jacket here though cools it off, turns it back into a liquid, condenses it, cools it to lower than the boiling point. The volatile liquid then drips down into a catching container, usually a, a beaker. Now, it's really important to realize that this temperature here, the measured by the thermometer, cannot exceed the boiling point of the second liquid. So, for example, we've got alcohol and water. We're trying to distill our water down, our alcohol down. Um, we can heat, we have to heat this up above 70 degrees because that's roughly where alcohol boils. However, Water boils at 100. If this reaches above 100, we are just going to end up with water in this here as well as um, the alcohol. All right, I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, you feel free to ask them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as quick as we can. And yeah, we'll see you next time.